Having won three straight games via the walk-off for the first time since 1972, the Yankees went for the sweep of the Twins as the clubs closed out their four-game set on Monday night in the Bronx. Line drive and on into center field for a base hit. Harris is being waved home. Here comes the throw for Melky Cabrera. It is cut off or knocked down by Teixeira. And that allowed Maurer to go to second base. And the Twins take a 1-0 lead. I thought there might have been a play at the plate. Well, we've seen Maurer go consistently right back up the middle. This is a cutter. He's trying to get it away. Maurer cuts it off before he can get outside. And, boy, it just seems like every at-bat, he's hitting bullets right back up the box. And you're right, Sandy. Here comes, it looks like you, you might have a play here. Melky throws offline. Maurer's going. Deshera tries to cut it so he can get Maurer. Just doesn't work out. Deshera can't quite get to the ball. But it did look like there would be a play at home right away. on the Yankees. And it's nice to have a friend around, too. Pitch is drilled deep to left field. Span going back again. This one is gone. Back-to-back -back home runs by Teixeira, and now Alex Rodriguez, and it's 4-2 to two Yankees. Those guys are fired up. Just like the Yankee offense so far. For A-Rod, his fourth home run of the season. Wow, it's got that sound, no doubt. The only question was, is it, is it going to hit up the wall? Is it high enough? It's plenty high enough. It's just a bullet in 26 starts. Line drive over second and on into right center field for a base hit. Cano rounding third. He's coming in to score. And the Yankees have now increased the lead to 5-2. to two. Ground ball, and it goes by Perkins, hits the bag, and goes into center field for a base hit. Here comes Melky Cabrera to score, and it's now 6-2 to two Yankees. Not so much. A 24-minute first inning. Perkins went two-thirds of an inning. Twins tonight, he'll be nine and five against Minnesota in his career. Breaking ball is hit well to left center field. David just takes a look. This one is gone way back over the Twins bullpen and into the seats, and it's now a six to three ball game. Michael Kadai is showing off his power with his fourth home run of the season. That's the longest home run I've seen in that direction this season. Kadir's got that kind of power. He hit 24 home runs in, in 06. Kind of been waiting for. shining over at third base. Top five, Jason Kubel, one of the three Ks from Andy Pettit. He struck out twice in the ball game, did Kubel. That team's showing pretty good about itself right now. His ball's hit well to right field. This is no doubt about it. 
This one is good. A home run for Mark Teixeira, who is now homered from both sides of the plate. And it's seven to four Yankees. Wow, that was touched off. His 10th home run of the season, which ties him with Johnny David for the team lead. It's a long time between uh, now and then. Here's the 2 2 pitch, and Span lifts one in the air to right field. It's hit pretty well. Swisher going back. He's near the auxiliary scoreboard, and this one is gone. A home run. And it's now a 7 to 5 game. That ball made it into the first or second row. And Span homers with one out here in the eighth inning. And after being robbed three times by the Yankee infielders, he goes where the infielders never go. It's a changeup from Ramirez, his best pitch, but he leaves it down and in, and it just kind of speeds up Span's back. You can see. We, sometimes you're sitting fastball, you get the changeup, you swing, and your bad head, your bad head just gets out in front and it hits it in the right spot, right over that auxiliary scoreboard. Just enough to get over. Looks like almost off the top of the wall and then into the second row. For Span, his second home run of the year. Ball game with the go ahead run at the plate. And Bill Coke gets Mike Redmond to ground out for Coke, his first career save as the Yanks win 7 6. That's a season high six game winning streak for New York. It's their first sweep of four games or more since the five gamer of Boston back in 2006. And it's the first four game sweep of the Twins in New York by the Yanks since 1993.